It is Tuesday, the 16th of November, and this is Love Notes, Daily Devotions from Holy Trinity Lutheran Church. Welcome. I want you to think for a minute about the, the stories of the great martyrs of the church. There are countless numbers of them. From the early church, where Ignatius of Antioch is arrested and taken off to Rome to be executed, who writes letters along the way and just before his execution writes a letter that says, may the bones that the beasts grind with their teeth become bread, the bread of heaven. He goes with such courage and with absolute faith in God's ability to redeem him from even the horrible death of being fed to the beasts. Uh, feeding to the beasts applies to Perpetua and Felicity, two young women who were put in prison for teaching people to be Christians. Perpetua had just given birth to a little boy and Felicity was pregnant. They stayed in prison long enough for Felicity to deliver the baby, hand it through the bars and give it to the church as they courageously walked in to be mauled by the beasts. You can think of modern day people like Dietrich Bonhoeffer who all he had to do was stay in America when he'd been given a post, but went back to Germany, was arrested, imprisoned, and finally hanged right before the end of the war because of his opposition to Adolf Hitler. We can think of Oscar Romero, Bishop of El Salvador who stood preaching at the mass when armed gunmen came in and shot him down because he'd been too friendly to the poor who they thought were all communists. It doesn't matter what story you pick. The question you have to ask when you think about the martyrs is, what is it about their faith that allowed them to face death so fearlessly? Well, and the writer of Hebrews takes up this particular question. He tells the people who he's writing to who are facing persecution he says, but recall those earlier days when after you had been enlightened, when you'd been baptized, when you'd been brought into the church, you endured a hard struggle with sufferings, sometimes being publicly exposed to abuse and persecution, sometimes being partners with those who were treated that way, because you had compassion on those who were in prison and compassion on those. Why did you have compassion? Because of the sacrifice made by Jesus Christ. You knew that whatever the world could inflict upon you, he seems to be saying, would never be the final word. That because you knew Jesus Christ, you knew that the ways of justice and peace and that the resurrection of the dead were in your future. So he called for them, pleaded with them to think about the future. Apparently the Hebrews were kind of buckling under the pressure of the persecution. Who wouldn't? All Perpetua and Felicity had to do was say, oh, I don't believe in Jesus anymore, and they'd been let out. Ignatius, the same thing. If Oscar Romero had kept his mouth shut and Bonhoeffer had stayed in the United States, they'd have avoided all the persecution and the death. But they didn't. Because they knew something that the writer of Hebrews reminds his readers about. In a very little while, the one who is coming will come again and not delay. But my righteous ones, live by your faith. Trust in Christ above all over other things. We are not among those who shrink back, he says, so that we are lost, but we are among those who have faith and so are saved. Persecutions no longer mean anything to us because of the surpassing grace of God found in Jesus Christ. The present moments of suffering don't mean anything to us because in the end, Christ will triumph and reign over all things and we will be raised. I gotta say, I don't find every day that I'm able to grab a hold of it to the extent the martyrs did, to grab a hold of my faith and to be courageous in the face of the little tiny persecutions that maybe I face, uh, an ill word said, an insult, whatever it may be.
But the writer of Hebrews wants me to remember that the faith in Jesus Christ, the power of Christ in his cross and resurrection has the power to make me full of the spirit of Christ. And so I should not despair. Let us pray. Our holy God, because of fear and comfort, we often don't take up our cross and follow you. Help us like the martyrs who've gone before us to not break under the weight of people's eyes and insults, but instead, Lord, to be filled with the spirit and courageous because the future that you offer us. We ask this in Jesus' holy name. Amen. Thank you.